abstract brain waves. Game genie in the beanie. We ain't on the same stage. Leveled up. Uh. Other yellow hat guy here. Back with another video. And let's talk the bug out event. I know I've already dusted over it slightly in the last two videos, but I figured, hey, uh, there was a few more days left of it, and maybe by the time it's actually over, I could just put my video out. I know traditionally I would probably talk about it in advance. I felt like I did a little bit just in reading, but not what I actually did. So let's just jump into it. Bug out catch challenge okay so in addition to bugs being everywhere that being the theme they tried to get you to come back out and play more like physically so if you actually did a raid with a group of like four or more people at a gym <coughs> excuse me and y'all i guess successfully winning it may or may not be the uh, requirement but just doing it I think a bunch of wormhole or some kind of bugs appeared at the actual gym once it was over with. Uh, yeah, wormhole. That's what I've got in this picture here. So, editor me, go ahead and throw that up there. They wanted you to do a couple things. So, they spread it out. And maybe this is a precedent going forward because we saw this in the Galarian Zigzagoon community today. And that was... Um, a list of things they wanted you to complete <clears throat> like steps one through three and then uh, a collection of things right so uh, step one was catch 25 bug type Pokemon walk two kilometers make 20 or make uh, 15 nice throws make 10 great throws make five curveball <coughs> throws use 10 pair 10 berries to help catch Pokemon. So that was step one out of three. And then they wanted you to do the collection challenge, which was frustrating because Niantic has this habit of, hey, we'll put like six or seven of them out where you normally are. And then we're gonna put two or three of them either in raids or like, you gotta go downtown to find these things. Uh, and they did that with Pineco or Pinnaco, uh, Shelmet, and Carablast. Those are the three that you, if, well, maybe it was just me. I could not find those. Uh, I almost did a raid, but I'm out of data on my phone, or at least my data has been throttled. I went over my allotment, believe it or not. And I noticed doing the remote raids, they just wouldn't load. The, the data just wasn't there and if I uh, stood in the in the game for a while <clears throat> and maybe uh, waited maybe it would have just timed out but if I were to close the game out swipe out of it reopen it it would definitely tell me that I timed out I saw that on two or three occasions so I could only do these local raids it's a nice little text thing they put there now instead of just the green meaning local raid they actually have it written there because you know some people may be confused by that <clears throat> but hey it's there and then the normal pink color it says remote now so maybe there's gonna be a new type of pass or something to say hey there's this other kind of raid now but we'll see but it's, that's a nice little change nothing major uh, not like the, you know, changing of the Pokeballs to stay at what you last used. I think that's considerable change. Uh, 60 frames per second. <coughs> Excuse me. It's nice that it's there. I don't use it because I feel like it changes the rhythm of which I throw Pokeballs. It also kills the battery life on my phone. Still waiting on campfire, but again, I'm not going to... Uh, spend too much time talking about that anymore. There was a new Pokemon that appeared. Uh, it's called Grubbin. And you needed to evolve it as part of the collection challenge. So it took me a while to see that. Um, I eventually got a good one worth evolving and took care of that. <clears throat> so Simultaneously, we were trying to do these 
um, incense, daily incense, didn't really work out too well. No, some of the bugs appeared and it was confusing because it's like, are these the bugs that are spawning because of the bug out event? Or are these the bugs spawning because of the daily incense? I talked about that in the other video. It was bugging me. See what I did there? Uh, but uh, not very successful in that overall. Uh, I'm still doing it. I'm getting a little bit better, I think. If you're riding around, you've got to go very slow. And I feel like maybe you can get more out of the 15 minutes. Unless you make time to actually walk for 15 minutes. Like, not even at work, walking around for 15 minutes. Can I take advantage of that? <clears throat> because it doesn't pause, it doesn't stop. You've got to keep moving. And they want you to walk 15 minutes a day. It's like, man, they should have had something like this in the beginning. They're, they're just late. Like, this video is late. Uh, they're just late with some of these things. <clears throat> and it would have been nice to get people into that early on in the game but this is just another way that they're trying to get people to come back outside and play regularly and it just feels forced because it should have been done a long time ago all right so moving off of that genesec is the level five raid boss and this one has uh, a different type of feature on its design and it has a different moveset. Let me look into the game really quick and uh, see what kind of moveset it has because uh, I want to say it's Ice something. Let's pull up Genesec. Is this not the most recent one? It has Techno Blast, which is an ice move, okay? So, no shiny for it. Currently, the uh, <clears throat> only Genesec that can be shiny is the, the default, the original. So. I think there's like eight different versions of Genesec, and uh, maybe when they all roll out, we'll finally get the shiny variants. I'll probably re-roll those things out like that. That's normally what. It's normally how they do things. So unfortunately, uh, that's what we'll have to wait on. So I did complete the bug out event. <clears throat> In the bug out event, I got a shiny Warmful, so that was cool. And I completed it simultaneously while doing the Galarian Zigzagoon. So it was, it was a two for one. So while it was a little frustrating to have to focus on two things, sometimes that works in your benefit. Uh, it worked against me because there were Zigzagoons everywhere, but the raids were still there. Of course, there was a Pinnaco, Pineco, in a raid, uh, and it ended up being I was moving so fast that it ended up having to be a remote raid. The remote raid didn't load because I was out of, <clears throat> you know, actual data. My data was being capped. And I got lucky and my gotcha ended up finding a random one somewhere. I didn't even see it. And I was able to complete the challenge. So while in the Galarian Zigzagoon uh, community, I didn't get whatever pose that was. I did get the bug catcher pose. Or, you know, and I feel like everybody's going. <clears throat> but there is this pose that's got some kind of, you know, I don't superhero kind of pose or something. And I know somebody that I know did the uh, Seattle Community Day somehow. And they were able to probably get that pose and Bug Swole, that legendary Pokemon. Um, not even legendary, Ultra Beast Pokemon that the rest of us are waiting for. So, uh... That was early August, <clears throat> all wrapped up there. These are the things that I was talking about in previous videos, but I really thought that there was going to be more GoFest stuff early. Turns out the GoFest stuff is August 27th, so the end of the month. I feel like the end of the month is when we'll get uh, a chance to encounter these Ultra Beasts. And I could be confused, I could be wrong, but it looks like you might get a chance to encounter all four and not just one that's in your region. So it seems like <clears throat> the people who were in those uh, different regions were able to get their regional ones. And maybe the rest of us who already paid for GoFest or who pay uses a uh, ticket to do the bonus day, maybe we get to encounter all of them. We'll have to see. 
I'm not exactly sure how it's going to play out. It might just be regional. Maybe you can get all four of these. But um, I do look forward to that as we go from August to <clears throat> September. And that just begs the question. We had Galarian Zigzagoon, we had this bug out event. Probably, I think there was some battle pass that was data mined. Um, we don't really know too much what's going on in September. I imagine the next few days. I just want to be ahead of the game. <laughs> that they'll announce the next community day. And hopefully it's not something like Slust. Uh, while I love Mega Scizor, I don't need a Scissor community day. Or a Scyther community day. Please don't do that. Um, <clears throat> something just different. Something, you know, like Stuffle. I, I, feel like, I feel like that was one of the better ones. Because... Uh, while you did need a lot of candy. It was like, where was the catch 100 beware or, or stuffle? They should have done that for that. Instead, you want the Zigzagoon 100 and give a pose. <clears throat> I feel like something that's brand new and people need 400 candy for, just to get the evolution, that should be the one you give a, give a pose or, 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 or reward for. <clears throat> because you probably want to do that anyway. But maybe they were thinking, you don't want to catch 100 ticks again. So here's a way for us to get you to continue to play the pool. Three hours. It would have been nicer at five hours, but hey, you can't please everybody. I'm just nitpicking at this point. You can tell I'm a little salty that I didn't get that pose. <clears throat> and maybe if it was a cool pose, I would have paid the 500 coins for it. I don't normally pay for poses like that. But I might have sprung for it. <clears throat> since I missed out for it. Anyway, uh, I think I'll end it here. I think we've covered everything that had been going on the last two weeks, maybe, in Pokemon Go. Uh, thank you guys for being patient. Uh, appreciate all of you, especially the Patreons. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share. I hate having to say that in the videos, but it's necessary. Uh, it keeps the channel growing, it helps with the algorithm, all that stuff that you guys may already know or may not care about, <clears throat> but it does help. It helps a lot. I'm trying to get closer to 4,000 subs, and we will go from there. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to check out the channel for the other stuff that I've been doing to catch up, as well as this. I believe there's the Pokemon Brilliant Stars, <clears throat> where I unbox those. So part one, Captain one, Sensation should have been up by now. If not, part two on the way. Stay tuned for all of that. See you guys in the next one. Other yellow hat guys out.